And here is the man himself. Ethan, thanks for joining us and, and huge congratulations on the performance and the win. Was that in a way the perfect away performance? Um, yeah, I think you could say so. Um, I think first half, you know, we, we struggled to get out a bit. Um, we knew he was going to be under the cosh for, for long periods. Um, so we trained it, we worked on it all week and, you know, um, the boys stuck to their task. And, you know, we, we really we thought we could get at them at um, set pieces and on the counters. And, you know, that's, it worked in the end today. What did, well, sorry, sorry. Liz, what did Thomas Frank say at half time? Because Chelsea were okay in the first half, was moving the ball around. You, you defended fantastically, but you just had that little bit more cutting edge in the second half where you was, you was breaking out at times. What did yeah. he say? Yeah, he just said to be a bit braver, you know. Um, right. He felt that, you know, although we, we were staying in the game, he felt that we could offer more going forward and, you know, be a bit tidier on the ball. So, you know, he just tried to give us that extra bit of confidence and, you know, told us to be brave. You know, we're still in the game and it's all to play for. And, you know, um, we've been in similar positions before and, uh, yeah, just just keep going, really. Yeah. Should we have a look at your, your goal? Yeah, you love a big goal, don't you? You scored <laughs> yeah. the winner against City at the end of, of last season, but this is your, your first one this season. How pleased were you with the header? Yeah, no, I was buzzing. Um, obviously, the the, corner, um, the long throw routines, we work on them quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, my job is basically to, to just hang around the back post and stay on side and, you know, anything that, that gets over the last man, uh, just attack it, really. And, yeah, I... I got there. It was how, much, how much do your eyes light up when you say, you know, as, as a man who's <laughs> big man the back post yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, You know, when the ball's like that flight and you can see the defenders yeah. underneath it, your eyes must be lighting up. Yeah, as soon but, as he crossed it, you know, I could I could see the height and, you know, I, I knew it was going over his head. So, you know, it's just about timing and making yeah. sure I got a good contact. So, yeah, yeah delighted. Well done, well done. Ethan, what, what is it about Stamford Bridge for this team, for you for you guys? Do you talk about, you know, you must have been confident given the back, coming off the back of wins last year at Stamford Bridge as well and another one today. Yeah, we were really confident. Um, obviously, we know their top quality side um, in the last, you know, a few weeks. We've, we've seen their, their performances raised, so we knew it was going to be really difficult. Yeah. You know, they've got quality all over the pitch. Um, you know, Sterling's been playing really well this season, so there was a big defensive focus on to just try and stifle them. Um, stay in the game, uh, stay compact and just try and frustrate them and we knew the longer the game went on um, the more we could grow into it yeah. and yeah that was that was basically a big part of it. Ethan just want to ask you, 20, 2017 obviously you were, you were at Dulwich Hamlet, it's the club that, that I was involved in for a little bit, you had a shining light really for, for some of the lads down there, could see the pathway into the Premier League, yeah. how much are you enjoying that being part of the Premier League, having, having seen your journey? Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, third year now and, you know, I think each season, you know, as a player and as a team, we've progressed. Um, and, yeah, I, I think it's a good example to, you know, a lot of boys that, that ain't in the league um, at, at uh, the late teenage years, you know, 16, 17, 18. If you keep working hard, um, just find a level to keep playing at and, you know, keep stay consistent and, you know, you never know what will happen. Yeah, and earlier in the season, you've been so close to, to some big wins against some top sides, but that win there today puts you above Chelsea into 10th in the table. What can Brentford achieve this season? You know, I think um, one of our things is to always look forward rather than back. So we try not to put, you know, a specific number or position, but we just go into every game, you know, trying to trying to find a game plan on how we can win. Um, like you mentioned, you know, we've had a few results this season where, you know, small, small margins have cost us uh, a draw or three points. But, you know, we got it bang on today. So I think uh, the focus is to just keep on looking forward and, you know, to, to see what's in front of us rather than looking our, over our shoulder and what's behind. Definitely heading in the right direction. Ethan, thank you very much for, for joining us and, and well done. Me. Thank you. Uh, well done, mate. There you go. That's yours. Man thank of the match. <laughs> well done. Heavy. Thank you. <laughs> well done, buddy. Well, well done. done. Congratulations. Okay, mate. Superb. Good to see you, mate. Absolutely well deserved as well. We'll let you go and join in the celebrations as well, Ethan, because you're, you're probably missing out in the dressing room there. But, <laughs> but thank you and, and well done. Thank well you done. for having Take me. Care. Well Thanks. Done. Go on, we'll let you go. Yeah, Just, thank, you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. So, he didn't want to leave you, Peter. Yeah. What no, can I say? <laughs> I to use an analysis. Yeah. Nice to have someone of a proper height, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>